Welcome to an on-demand training on importing data in AgVeritas. In the previous on-demand training video, we saw how to create a new field in AgVeritas. Now that the field boundaries are in the system, the next step is to upload the data. So I'm going to take just a moment here to show you how to do it. So the first thing you do is go to the Manage Data tab and click on Import Data. Once the page loads, go to select the file that you are going to import. Here I'm going to select a yield file. Now one thing to note is that all data imports should be uploaded as a zipped shape file in the WGS84 projection. Now once the file loads, like you see just now, you see the column headers contained in the file in this box on the left hand side. Now the next step is to select a little information about the file. Here I will choose the file type, category, then the import template for the file. Once I select an import template, the column names that the template maps will appear on the right hand side of the page, giving you visibility into the columns the template needs your file to contain for the file to load. If the file you are importing contains all the columns that the import template maps, or these ones on the right, then you will see a green text box at the top of the page letting you know that your file is ready to import. If that's the case, then you can click on the Start Import button at the bottom left of the page and import your file. Now, if you select a template where the file you want to load does not contain all the columns that the import template maps, like I'm going to do here for example. Then you will see a red text box at the top of the page letting you know that the column headers in the uploaded files do not match the template requirements. You will also see on the right hand box that any column names that were mapped in the template but are not contained in your file will be highlighted in red. If you do not have a template that supports the current file you are loading, you can click on the don't see your template link at the bottom of the page. This will bring up a text box that gives you a little more information on selecting the correct template as well as enables you to create a service request. Once you click close from that text box, you will now see a request service button has appeared at the bottom left. To get an AgVeritas customer service representative to investigate your file and templates, click on that link. You will also get an email letting you know that your service request was received by the AgVeritas support team. Thank you for viewing this brief tutorial on importing data in AgVeritas. As always, we hope you find this on-demand training helpful, and if you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to give us a call.